going on, my man? Nothing. Don't wiretap me, bro. <laughs> well, tell me about the gun talk. Um, well, it, uh, if you're asking how the seminar went earlier, so it went great. Been, or if you're asking bad. about LFOD gunfighter, then yep. uh, I would say I could walk out. These are ten. These are probably. Let me grab this flyer lot. anyway. And uh, but basically, LFOD gunfighter is. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, that's fine. I don't. <laughs> no, it's cool. You don't have to do anything special. I'm just casual here. I was just uh, admiring that holster. I saw Pete Air from CopBlock.org wearing a similar one, and uh, it looks comfortable and easy to put on and take off. I recommend uh, using a system like this if you want to be faster, because this puts everything right where your hand goes, and so the hand grabs and it's very fast. Holsters that are up higher are usually slower, in my opinion, because you have to, to have a, a further higher arch to clear and uh, so the drop leg holster is really fast and I recommend it but also using a separate belt uh, because then you can take this off and put it on and so that you can kit up anytime and anything you could be wearing pajamas you could be naked and you can put on your pistol belt and strap on and so whether you're wearing pajamas whatever this just clips right together bam 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 ready to rock is and it it's the heavy? fastest and it's the fastest thing uh, it's not heavy I mean the heaviest part of it of course is the actual gun um, but I mean it's got a lot of different uh, I'm surprised by that because it looks heavy well it's actually very light plastic material it's very durable hard plastic uh, but it is very light could you wear that kind of holster concealed uh, no well you I suppose yeah with a trench coat or something but uh, but this will be harder to conceal um, this is is usually in a situation where you are not going to try to conceal because uh, you'll probably be uh, you know, pretty heavily armed. Usually, if you go to this, is like your your lower level, but then you add your long gun when you have a greater need for security. Okay. And so then, at that point, it's obvious that you know you've got your rifle, you got a pistol, you got mags. You're like, there's no adding anything at that. Where point. where can people learn more about you and uh, what advice you have for them? Well, at the moment, I don't have a page or a site, and I probably need to get one at this point, but. Um, you can email me at silverdave419 at gmail.com and if you just say that you're interested in LFOD, I'll send you a packet which gives detailed information about how the course works, how much it costs. Uh, furthermore, you can ask me a question via email as well. Um, and I hope to be producing some videos in the very near future that will uh, show uh, LFOD program in action as well as uh, students as well as uh, to yeah, explain some of the uh, basic techniques that will be taught in uh, LFOD Gunfighter, which I think as I was trying to say before, what makes LFOD Gunfighter so unique is that uh, it is applied towards the practical application and use of firearms as opposed to, uh, in my opinion, many of the courses that are commonly available at the Rod and Gun Club, for example, uh, in my opinion, teach you to stand in front of a table and shoot at a paper target. But to me, this doesn't really prepare you to be very useful with this tool. And so with LFOD Gunfighter, it's uh, geared towards practical applications. So yes, we teach basic safety, basic stuff, and on a, but on a solid platform that allows for more building blocks. Is LFOD live free or die? And LFOD is live free or die. Have you ever gotten into gunfights? Yes. I do have uh, combat action. <laughs> was that in uh, regular life or was that in the military? Afghanistan, uh, oh, military. Oh. So I was formerly a uh, Green Beret, 18 Charlie, which is Special Forces, uh, and uh, basically uh, that is why I have a background and have some skills in small unit tactics, guerrilla warfare, unconventional warfare, um, and uh, survival and uh, medical uh, aid in various different forms as well as minor surgeries, but very cool. Have you given any aid here at Porkfest? I have not at Porkfest. However, uh, Pete 
and okay. myself kind of working together, but I was kind of talking through, and then at the end I did it. Okay, we uh, we did a little surgery on him and removed a BB that had been in him for 19 years. No way. And I couldn't believe that. Here at Porkfest? He, no, this was about a week or two ago. Wow. But so I haven't done any here at Porkfest, though, but we did uh, we did cut him open, do a little minor surgery to take that BB out, because I couldn't believe it was still there after that. Wow. I said, if that was me, I would have cut that thing out of myself in the bathtub like 10 years ago. Like, yeah. But I guess the doctors told him it's just going to come out by itself. It didn't. <laughs> wow. And he, you know. Anyway, so what it was interesting to take business. it out. And, That's um, cool. So you're a man of uh, many talents. Silver Dave. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.